Welcome. Well, my name is Elman. I'm from Railer Tree Community. Um, um, I have made many maps. Well, it doesn't matter really. So, point is that I'm going to do you a scripting tutorial. So you, well, I can't actually say it's very historical because scripting is mostly about logical thinking. So, uh, I'm gonna teach you. And first, I'm gonna open new. And I'm gonna make a new map around 200 and 200. And here we go. This is some kind of map. And since I think you already watched it, uh, Frisch's maps tutorials about visual, then I won't do any big visual lecture. So it's about there are other visual things. So you should know about this already. But I'm gonna still explain most of them. First of all, I'm gonna make small area. I'm gonna make it around there. Now, okay, this is some kind of area. I'm gonna make, let's make another area as well, bigger area, so let's make it around 200 meters. Now there's, here we go. And I'm gonna make ramp as well, so it would be most beautiful, more beautiful. Um, where is it? So there we go. Let's make it about 200. There we go. There we have some kind of ramp now. Since there are many visual freaks who are gonna watch it and think, "Oh my God, it's so, it's disgusting. It isn't beautiful or anything." Then I'm gonna make something, make it at least a little bit more beautiful. Let's find some cliffing as well. Ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna just take Iceland, some cliffing there. I'm gonna make this one. Most normal one. And I'm gonna make cliffing. There we go. And... Now, personally, I say it again. Don't use it. Don't never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, never use this way what I did, the texture cliffing. Because it sucks, it is lame. Use texture, I mean, use objects. Use cliffing objects because this is most useful. So, what I'm gonna teach you exactly there is um, I'm gonna teach you about to make intro, and while making intro, I'm going to teach you how to make it. So, I'm gonna teach you ways and all this kind of stuff, and I'm gonna teach you everything about it. So while I'm gonna do that you should understand the point of scripting so there shouldn't be any problems to script something else. It's actually very easy if you just get the point. And I'm gonna do in this mission, this is infantry map only, and there's gonna be an infantry plane, in other words a light bomber, and he's gonna paradrop down units for mission start. And let's say there are some action as well while the, this is moving. So first of all, I'm gonna select a waypoint tool. There we go, waypoint tool. And it is very important for scripters because it is uh, to mark object. You need to mark points where something happens, where the camera have to move, or where uh, the, some your ob object spawns or whatever. And it is very. I think you all. Free solar is said about it, but um, it's very important. I'm gonna set it that down here, the plane starts coming, and it is goes to the top of this cliff, like this way. Now, if I hold it down, we can see there are line, and this is line for path, for something path, and and I'm gonna drag it somewhere like there, and I'm gonna let it go, and there are waypoint number two. Now we have two waypoints. Now. This is the path, but I want to move, so I'm gonna name the waypoints as well for my own use, and I'm gonna use it end. No, sorry, start and end. Now there are start and end for waypoints, and I'm gonna name the start. I mean, in other words, that path, but we can see over here. I'm gonna name it the bomber path. There we go. We can see the path name is bomber path in the red, and the in the green is the waypoint names. Now, 
um, first of all, what we have to always to do, what scripters must do, is go to edit and edit player list, and we want there to be. We can see right now there is only one player. It is neutral. There is on there isn't any other player, but I want there to be player one, player two, player three, and player four. So I'm gonna put at skirmish players. And there we go, all skirmish players. Well, these skirmish things are pointless, but don't delete it because you don't want to happen to to lost in box. So let them be, but I don't use them. And there we are, player one, to player four. You probably notice that there are six players in game, so you have to add player five and player six yourself. Just new player, set it like for right now, set it neutral. Okay, and there is player zero 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 one. Change it to player one, five. Exactly like up here, and this one as well, player five. There we go. Now it's ex exactly same, and well. You can change the neutral to null. I usually do it, and it's okay. And same way, player six. If you want to all players, then click OK. And there we go. Now, you have to add bomber yourself. Well, of course you can script bomber, but since it is intro, then I recommend to add the bomber as object. You should know how to add objects because the visual. Translation. It's by native type. There are all the faction things, and I'm gonna use allies, unit, and where it is? There it is. Ally bomber aircraft. I uh, I'm gonna add it near to that waypoint path, and I'm gonna hold it down and move it to that way where the path goes. So now we have a light bomber, and I'm gonna set it team. Team is you set the team for what that uh, bomber belongs to. For example. I'm gonna set it as player one, team player one, and now player one owns this bomber from the very beginning. So this this belong now player one owns this. Now now we're gonna go to actual scripting. So first of all, you can use it from up there where I use it. Edit scripts. Con you can use Control Alt R, but I don't use it. It is just too much buttons. And or you can just edit and scripts. Well, I personally use this one, so I can open it. Now this is this is the m very important thing for scripters. Very important. There are all the categories from where you can script: neutral, player, civilian, all skirmish ones, what I don't use, and player one to player five right now. Well, I don't use so I don't use this. I usually use neutral because there are a lot of scripts and I don't. I don't need to use them player, but whenever there are like scripts what I need to use over and over again, for example in infantry survival I had to use scripts, exactly the same scripts for all players, then I made just one script to player one and I used, well I'm gonna explain it a little bit later, but I'm gonna use, um, but thanks to that I just could copy it to all other ones as well, to one player, two, player three and player four, and all players had the same uh, point of the script, so I, I could do it easier and faster way. But right now I'm gonna go to neutral and I'm gonna create new folder and I'm gonna name it intro. There we go. And I'm gonna so and I'm gonna create new script and I'm gonna say in the intro beginning. Now about naming, uh, it's. Uh, everything is um, there isn't any point of naming actually it is all up to you it's for yourself you can find the script later easier if you need to put something or you you made some bug and you need and you tested it out and there is some bug and you want to know where it is it's easier to find it and um, and it's just for your own use most times it's just much easier if you name it I personally don't name it I name name only scripts what I need to name but usually I don't name because I'm just too lazy to name all of them so that's why everyone many people have said that dude why don't you name your scripts